Gypsy Rose Blanchard, a household name at this point in time. She is a victim of Munchausen syndrome by proxy, also known as fictitious disorder imposed on another. It is a mental health disorder that causes typically parents to create health issues in another person, their child most of the time, and the parental figure will present their child as sick, problemed, and or injured. They will force these injuries, problems onto their child, and in worst cases of this disorder, it can cause permanent injury and or unaliving the victim. The only ways known to treat this disorder currently is by removing the child from parental care or therapy, of course. Now, Gypsy Rose was released a few days after Christmas on the 28th of December after being imprisoned for more than eight years after the unaliving of her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard, along with her boyfriend at the time that she had met online, Nicholas Gojon, who is sentenced to life. The reason Nicholas has faced more severe consequences is because he was the one to have come up with the entire unaliving plot and further agreed with Gypsy that he was actually the one to carry out the unaliving of Dee Dee. To put it lightly, Gypsy was a by her mother Dee Dee. Gypsy was forced into a wheelchair to take multiple medications that she did not need, was forcefully mentally stunted, isolated, physically hurt, forced to pretend to be disabled and chronically ill, along with so much more. In addition to being released from prison on the 28th, Gypsy has been enjoying her freedom for the very first time in 32 years. Here, we see her first selfie of freedom, celebrating with her family, kissing her husband, and even letting us know that there is a lot more to come about her story in the coming days. Social media has taken it upon themselves to further infantilize Gypsy Rose Blanchard like what once happened to her when her mother was alive. Social media is not only infantilizing this 32-year-old woman, but speaking for Gypsy, speaking over the top of Gypsy. People are going to be extremely joyous to see that somebody who has been through use of the magnitude that Gypsy has been through is out and is free and gets to live a more fruitful, comfortable, positive life. I mean, come on, after years and years of watching documentaries, following her story from when I was like a little teenager, to see that social media is doing this to her is really upsetting to say the very least. Okay, but WTF is right with y'all. People on TikTok are so effing wild. Gypsy Rose is a real person who has lived an extremely traumatic life and is finally going to have a chance for a positive future and y'all are treating her release like a spectacle. Y'all are weird. Whilst I completely understand where this person is coming from and that their intentions are only good, let's not downplay the fact that once again a victim of such horrific like Gypsy has gone through, is able to experience freedom for the very first time in their lives. Meanwhile, Hollywood was profiting off of her story for many, many years, sometimes even, you know, like creating potentially triggering adaptations of Gypsy's life, we're going to direct our anger towards the public who is just so excited to see that Gypsy is out, that she has so much freedom at her fingertips. Finally, it has been 30 years too long. I feel like y'all are just expecting Gypsy Rose to become an influencer when she gets out, and I'm going to be honest, that's low-key weird. Yeah, maybe you're talking to Twitter people who are expecting Gypsy to, like, drop a song or a skincare product. Like, yeah, of course, that is strange. No one's saying that that isn't 
weird, but it's completely natural to be curious of what Gypsy's like now. How does she feel now? What are her interests? What music does she like to listen to? It is natural for humans to be interested in that, especially because this story was so heavily publicized. You can't blame the fact that human beings with a working heart are curious, are interested in her as a person. You know, if Gypsy so decides to take influencing as a path in life, I say go for it. Who is anyone to say that she can't do that when there's predatory influences walking around every single other day and nobody cares about it. But all that to say, talking for Gypsy, like we know what she's thinking and we know how she's feeling, further infantilizes her and puts her in a position that she once was in and had to fight so hard to get out of. It is such a tragic and traumatic situation for all parties involved. I completely get both sides of what people are saying. People are excited and very curious to see what Gypsy's like as a person. And then you have the other side that is wanting to protect her so hard so that she doesn't get triggered, so that she is safe and loved and cared and supported. And one more thing too, people have been bringing up this particular screenshot as to how weird people are being about Gypsy and it kind of draws back to what I was just talking about before, people being interested in Gypsy as a person. I hope when Gypsy gets out of prison, she makes a TikTok because I am so pumped to see her try new foods, new trends, and spill some tea on Dee Dee and Nick. Now, of course, you could say that that end bit was a little bit much, like spill some tea. This isn't a drama situation. This is a real life event that took place that has hurt and traumatized Gypsy. But everything Thing else this TikToker said, I mean, I feel the exact same way. I can't wait to see her participate in trends like everybody else has been doing for the past like eight years or so. I can't wait to see her try new foods and just live life as a human being. And so, yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to talk about today because I've been watching so much go down on social media since Gypsy has been released from prison. And while it's absolutely fantastic that so many people are wanting to protect her, you also run the risk of putting her back into a situation of infantilization and speaking over the top of her when if she has a problem with something, I'm sure she will speak up about it and then people can either decide to listen to her or not listen to her. I don't know. The internet is really weird, dude. So with all of that being said, beautiful people, thank you so much for coming to Yappersville today. I really appreciate your stay. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.